Sturgeon's Law. 90% of everything is crud. Often now quoted as crap. Crud, crap, whatever negative word you want, garbage, low quality, 90% of everything. This was started by science fiction author Theodore Sturgeon, although many authors have said this throughout history, but he's the one who got his name attached to it. Science fiction writer uh, was you know, repeatedly told how science fiction is crap. Uh, it's just, it's not a respectable genre of literature. And so he sort of, his defense of science fiction was like, well, 90% of everything is bad. So yeah, 90% of science fiction is bad, but that's the same with everything. With all genres, all types of products, even people, he, he said, it's just 90% bad. So, you know, a couple of things I can take from this. One is, it's pretty easy to get a law. You know, you can, you can just say something and uh, maybe somebody will name a law after you, you know? So, you know, you, you never know what's going to come out of your mouth that, uh, you know, you have some observation that just happens to hit at uh, just the right time and be, be catchy and just, just fit in, in just the right way. And you can get uh, so-and-so's law named after you. So there you go. Uh, but uh, the other thing, it makes me think that we, if we can really take this in and, re like, and, and really accept this way of looking at things, I think it can be helpful for simplifying our life. Because we have so much input, so much is coming in. We have so many things to deal with. And I think it's often so hard to just say, I don't care about that, that's irrelevant. Eh. It's like I feel, I feel kind of off uh, even responding like that a lot of the time. Because it seems like, well, you know, am I, am I dismissing this thing uh, unfairly? Am I, am I wrong? I mean, am I missing something important? The fear of, the fear of missing out. That, you know, oh, if I don't, if I don't take this in, if I don't deal with this, if I don't, you know, see what it's all about and uh, join in, maybe I'll be missing out on something good. And so it's, so it's hard to just say no. It's like, you know, I, no, I, I just have no interest in this. I'm not going to bring it into my life. Uh, I'm just going to completely ignore it. I don't need to explain in detail why. I don't need to, you know, to, to justify why I choose to ignore this. I simply choose to ignore it. I, it's just not relevant for me. Being a filter, it's like, it, it's, I see Sturgeon's Law as a reminder to be a strong filter. We need a strong filter in terms of what we're going to let in. Most things are not worth letting in. We have to be very selective about what we are even going to deal with. And we have to be ready and able to turn away the anything that would attempt to take to 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 take some time and energy from us there's just so many demands in all directions you know care about this pay attention to this this is important this is good this is fun this is exciting this is uh an important new thing uh it's hard to know what is the 10 percent that's good and that maybe is the real challenge but just even having the idea that okay at least okay i don't necessarily know which 10 percent is good and which 90 percent is no good but just knowing that it's probably something around that it's that's probably the approximate ratio of useful versus useless and if we can look at things that way, it can maybe help us to be more ready 
to say no. Maybe it's even good. Maybe it's even good and I'm wrong to dismiss it. But since 90% is not really worth my time, I am comfortable making the gamble that no, I don't need to put my attention on this particular thing. It's true that, you know, being too ready to dismiss things can leave us, it can bring the risk that we do dismiss something good. So that is, that's true. But I think that the fear of missing something good is so strong that it leads us to let in so many things. It's up to us to be a strong filter, to be selective, very selective about what we choose to let in because there's already enough to deal with and we have to find some ways to stem the flood of new things. So I'd be curious to hear what you think of this idea. Also, if you have your own law, uh, please uh, let us know. And uh, do you think that 90%, is that the right number? Is it 99%? Is it 50%? What is the percent of things that are actually useful? I'd be curious to hear your thoughts.